a National Council for Population and Development, NCPD, is a semi-autonomous national agency under the State Department of Planning and the National Treasury. Uh, this institution that's mandated to uh, advise and uh, coordinate issues of population and development in the country. And the role of this institution is to research, analyze population programs, and again advise the government on those, on, on those findings. We are supposed to advocate and, uh, and uh, inform the public on issues of population programming and at the same time also uh, do coordination and implementation of population program across the country. The concept of PHE integration approach model is not a new one as it originated from the 1992 Rio Summit Declaration on Environment and Development, UNICEF, the Earth Summit. The conference identified the synergy between population, health and environment as crucial building blocks for achieving sustainable development. PHE as an integrated approach uh, started as a result of an assessment that was carried out uh, in Kenya. Uh, Uganda, uh, Tanzania and Rwanda and uh, this was an initiative of uh, the Population Reference Bureau of the uh, USA and uh, after this assessment was done yeah, we had the first ever international conference on uh, population health and environment integrated approaches in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. That was uh, November uh, 2007. PHE is integration of health, environment, and the people livelihood and the existence. So this is a sustainable, uh, is a developmental uh, matter, and the National Council for Population and uh, Development has taken this matter and is coordinating these activities in, in, in certain uh, areas in the country, especially in the lake regions, uh, in the coastal regions, and in some part in, 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 in Rift Valley. A population health and environment program is one of the sustainable approaches to development that Kenya has adopted. Kenya adopted this approach uh, way back in uh, 2007 and uh, since then we've been able to roll out uh, PHE uh, projects in the country and uh, the areas where we've really succeeded in PHE are in Homa Bay, in uh, Kilifi County and also in Akuru County. In Kenya, recognition and adoption of the PHE Integrated Approaches Model came into the limelight during the International Conference on Population, Health and Environment held in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia in November 2007. Prior to this conference, Kenya had conducted the PHE assessment whose report showed that although some PHE integrated projects had the three aspects of PHE, Others were either implementing two aspects or just one. Basically, Kurisoi benefited from one of the programs that was run by Aviausas called PHE. And in our sub county, it was covering three wards that is getting it where we are Amalo and then Dineta. So, in all these programs, actually, it was done across the three wards and actually concerning the same. Our sub-county benefited a lot. In our sub-county, we have got 29 community health units, and in these community health units, we have got 241 community health volunteers. These community health volunteers, they were trained by Afia Usase in all the health indicators within the community. And the why we Koreso in North and South were chosen is because uh, over the years, uh, that sub two sub-counties were lacking behind in uh, health indicators in the county. So most of the time, uh, they used to be reprimanded that they were at the bottom, you know, all the time when they report uh, to the county health management uh, team. And uh, it was, the FHI came in uh, to help them try to improve the health, population health uh, indicators. Mimi Kabla PAG kuja tulikuwa tunaishi maisha mbaya. Hatuko tunajua utaweza enda toilet, unaye mkono, 
ukitoka wakuja wakatufunza ukienda toilet hata kama nyumbani ni safi ndani ya nyumba na umetoka toilet toilet ni chafu sana so inabidi uoshe mkono usichukue uchafu kwa nyumba tukafunza hatuko tunajuaga in fact toilet yenye nilikuwa natumia ilikuwa ambao so ilikuwa chafu ndio penye walitufunza nikakuja nikajenga hii nilikuwa natumia ingine iko mahali hapo hivi this project came to Koresoi South in Nakuru County uh, because within Nakuru County, this is the sub-county, Koresoi South, that had poor indicators in terms of maternal health, child health, uh, maternal mortality. We had more incidents of women dying and they could not access services at the healthcare system. And if you look at also the health facility, it was not also very well equipped uh, with the facilities to take care of uh, these women around this particular place. PHE integrated approach model is one of the sustainable development model which has been proved to be a key driver in the improvement of quality of life of people at both household and community level. People deal simultaneously with food, water, livelihoods, health and education among other issues including fertility. There has been an increasing pressing global and national population, health and environmental sustainability challenges such as rapid population growth, unmet need for family planning, malnutrition, environmental degradation and the effects of climate change. When you come to Nakuru and Kilifi, the approach is a bit different. You find that the approach here is more towards the external environment, not in the homestead, but the external environment. Like uh, in Nakuru, you find the Molo area, the approach is mainly towards conservation of the forest there. So as the communities conserve the forest there, which helps them in terms of firewood and also lively, other livelihoods, now they also have other activities which they now come and do within their community and in the household to promote their health. Communities have been you know, sensitized, trained, equipped and, and empowered to ensure that they want, they, they can get, they can have a, a, a livelihood from, from, the, from the, the water, but at the same time also protecting and conserving the environment that they, they coexist with. Kwa sababu hii elimu tulipata, imetupa manufa mengi sana. Hata wasichana ambao pengine ulikuwa na hitaji zile mimba za mapema, anaelezea msichana mwenzake elimu ni bora zaidi kuliko kupata mimba ya mapema kwa sababu tukisema hii elimu ndio ufungua maisha lakini tukisema tunajiweka katika ngono za mapema alafu na mambo na mihadarati hiyo haitule haituletei faida kwetu wakati wa kusi huwa baharini hakuna samaki sasa imeimetubidi sisi wanaotubofundishwa PHE tujikimu kimaisha hali ya kuwa huko juu kama chini hakuna samaki huko juu tunapata mapeni ya kupeleka watoto shule wanapata lishe bora ambao hasa kutusaidia hata kuwa hatutakuwa na ile hali ngumu ya kimaisha it is important to note that changes in population and the environment is critical in determining the health of the people in a given area the national council for population and development is working very closely with this community on issues of population health and environment here from the environment here you can see the mangroves are well kept that you can see the people have you know sustained or have taken care of the environment, that they don't pollute the environment, and they are trained on issues of how they can have a, a, a child spacing or family planning, so that at least the families have, have a quality life and quality health. In areas where pregnancies among women occur too early, too late, or too frequently, more often women also experience frequent illness during pregnancy and complications at the time of birth. Under PHE we have now, we are having the youth section. So wherever they have their, their representative who usually come and report. Whenever we have all of them, they also talk and mainly we find the importance of family planning and even sometimes we can even intercooperate family planning with the kind of plants that we have. Population Health and Environment, PHE, is a development approach uh, which recognizes the interconnectedness between the people's livelihoods, their health and the environment in which they depend. And uh, now when I take, uh, uh, if, if I now unpack the P, which is the population, we are now targeting uh, uh, family planning 
and in family planning we give deliver information and services to the community so that they can have a healthy timing and child spacing so that uh, the fish in the lake can uh, uh, the fish in the lake which is reserved can be utilized by the children our children for now and even for uh, in future through BMU and the government, we can see a way of educating our people on the, on the correct pacing so that they see when, how they plan well on when to have the firstborn like that. And that if we can manage on that, it means we can suppress the population and uh, we can go on well. Areas experiencing high fertility, high population density, poor sanitation, high levels of poverty, have highest numbers of people who are unable to meet their dietary needs and food preferences for an active and healthy life. Quite often, these conditions increase incidences of diseases among households and communities in general. We're just visiting the garden mm -hmm. and we're just trying to see how the PhD program is doing here in your household. And it's very impressive to see, you know, that it is it's a concept that is well integrated that you have a small scale farming uh, system around, you have a, a GECO that is, a, that is energy saving, and you have a, a, a rack, a dish rack, to make sure that you see your dish after they're washed, they're clean and they're safe for use, and then also the eco-friendly toilet. The model household means that I, 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 I must have eight components, such as toilet, kitchen garden, leaking, wire line, dish rack, bathroom, and uh, I must ha have uh, fresh water for drinking. Demand for water, forests, and land mounts and pressure on finite resources has intensified over the years in Kenya due to rapid population growth. Before the program of PHE, we had problems. We had diarrhea, uh, we were losing children at early stage, we were having population pressure, and people were scrambling for land. Programs that build on the synergistic intervention such as PHE Integrated Approach Model has proved to produce sustainable results. These results have contributed to the improvement of the quality of life of the population in the PHE projects. Program sites in Homa Bay, Siaya, Kuresoi North and South in Nakuru, Baringo and Kilifi counties in Kenya. We have learned a number of lessons from the implementation of the PHE model homes. Among these lessons that we have learned is that one, a model homes um, really make PHE implementation real as a community strategy. That's number one. Number two is that PHE model homes actually promote health-seeking behavior, they promote uh, population management, and they also promote environmental conservation. There is a need for government national and county, together with donors to support integrated interventions such as PHE to enable households and communities to reap long-term benefits and provide a basis for long-term sustainable programming driven by community needs. PHE is a viable development program or a development agenda that can actually help us deliver on the sustainable development goals as well as the ICPD 25 commitments that we have made. Right now in the country, what we are focusing on as NCPD is to be able to roll out PHE countrywide. And uh, the, one, the approach that we are using is to be able to establish population, health and environment, technical work, working groups in all the counties. There is a need to enhance support to integrated approaches and programs such as PHE initiatives instead of vertical or single sector funding together with the encroachment of NGOs, communities and national and county governments to implement multi-sectoral partnerships and programs to meet both their health and environmental goals and aspirations in Kenya. NCPD has commenced the development of a national PHE policy guideline 
2030 to strengthen the implementation of the current and future strategic plans for PHE as well as supporting other existing legal and policy frameworks on sustainable development. What we've done so far is through the, this is up to, through the support of the uh, Lake Victoria Basin Commission Secretariat. Uh, Kenya was able to develop a strategic plan of BHE, population, health and environment integrated approaches. And this integrated uh, strategic uh, plan uh, runs from uh, 2018 to 2022. The PHE program is premised on the understanding that people's health and livelihood depends on the state of their environment and therefore any attempts to address challenges in these sectors requires integrated solutions. We have a proper sanitation, proper nutrition, we also have proper, uh, proper environment, clean environment, and that's our major aim. And uh, we are now having a group which are now falling under population, health and environment. And we have been doing several things. And first of all, may I appreciate the, since we started working with the NCPD, they have really promoted us because some areas were having very big challenges, especially in water. But whenever we, when we requested it for the tanks, now we have these people are now having clean water. They can even use that water for irrigating their small plots, kitchen gardening projects. A number of the PHE projects are now being implemented by various partners and communities in different parts of the country. When we are talking about the, the efforts that NCPD has put in place that facilitated the model household clusters that we identified to get about 30 water tanks which were about 3,000 litres each with, with two of the 30 households getting 5,000 litre tank. This in essence was trying to help boost uh, or help develop learning centers where communities can come in and learn what PHE is all about. Among the projects being implemented by LVBC is a PHE program whose implementation is guided by the East Africa Community Integrated Population Health and Environment Strategic Plan that covers the period 2016 to 2021. The Kenya National Policy Steering Committee NPSC for the PHE was established in 2016. Its key role is to provide policy direction for the PHE program in Kenya and it meets annually. Below the NPSC, there is the National PHE Technical Working Group, TWG, and the National PHE Network. By 2016, as we started PHE, our population was quite high. Most of our mothers were delivering at home. Most of our mothers had so many complications. We had maternal death. but. Through that integration, right now, everything has improved. The last year, for the last three years, we have not recorded any maternal death as per today. The TWG comprises representatives of the various government institutes that have a stake in the implementation of the PHE program in the country. This group reports to the NPSC and has the responsibility of providing technical support required for implementation of the PHE program. The National PHE Network is a forum where both government and non-government institutions involved in the implementation of the PHE activities meet to share the program's progress and challenges. NCPD serves as the secretariat to the NPSC, TWG and the Network Forum. The above management structure for PHE is being replicated in the counties. We are uh, moving around uh, uh, in um, Homer Bay County to learn more about PHE uh, best practices. And I just want to mention that uh, the idea of PHE was borrowed in Homer Bay County, was borrowed from the Kenya PHE network, whereby we had a number of uh, partners who are members of the Kenya PHE network who are coming from Homer Bay County. So they learned something that they were happy about and they were able to bring that idea back home in uh, Homer Bay County. PHE in Homer Bay County was a pilot project 
and I am happy that I participated in rolling out the same to Siaya County. So the arrangement here for National Council and Population Services is key into this because of the work that they do. They are looking at the population size. And if you look at the P aspect, which is affecting health, you know first you manage the population, once you manage a small population, the environment will be at peace. Once you, you have a small and managing population, the health of the people will be at peace. So NCPD is a key partner. And what we are telling H NCPD is to pick up. You know, it was first of all, it was funded by donors. The, the, the first Hope LVB project that we were, we were running. Now NCPD needs to fit in, take over this, and ensure that this program is rolled out throughout the Republic of Kenya. And this is something that they can do because they have the networks and they have the structures to do that. Population health and environment is an approach to sustainable development that integrates population and health in environmental conservation initiatives in order to ensure better outcomes for environment conservation efforts as well as improved health and well-being of the population. And when it comes now to health, uh, and, uh, which is, uh, we are now uh, involved in a variety of interventions that targets water, sanitation and hygiene and uh, the maternal child health. Now we are trying to educate the people around the lake to conserve the lake uh, by not polluting the, the lake, by not throwing the plastic into the lake. You see if the plastics are thrown into the lake they kill the, the fish. The PHE program is premised on the understanding that people's health and livelihood depends on the state of their environment and therefore any attempts to address challenges in these sectors requires integrated solutions. Kenya embraced the PHE program in 2007 with the formation of the National PHE Network. This network has since been advocating and promoting the integration of population and health issues in the environment. It was like estimated that 50% of our girls, before they get to uh, age 18, they were either mothers or expectant with the first child in this particular sub-county. Uh, those indicators uh, with this program, they have actually improved and uh, the program also had a component of Bindi Shuja, uh, which talks to uh, which brings together the girls who got pregnant and they are encouraged to go back to school, they are encouraged to talk to others, they are encouraged uh, that uh, life, life has need not really come to an end. They need to move on, they need to go back to school and be economically empowered. The East Africa community, which comprises Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi and South Sudan, set up the Lake Victoria Basin Commission. LVBC, with the mandate of implementing programs and projects that would ensure the sustainable management of the natural resources in the Lake Victoria Basin. Sai wavuvi wamekuwa na multi practices zingine ambazo aziruhusi kwa samaki. Unapata watu natumia things like monofilament ambazo inchi zao ni kidogo sana. So fish which are meant to grow to be bigger fish in your part where ama wandi washikwe unapata kama wanaolewa kama bado ni wadogo sana. So in future it means wakizaliwa wanaoa kabla hawajakuwa wakubwa. So that also brings the catch very kwe chini sana. When you look at the health is looking at the well-being of the population. So you're looking at their mortality, you're looking at their mobility, you're looking at issues of maternal health, child health, nutrition, water and sanitation, hygiene and, and their total well-being. Ilikuwa zamani tukiosha tu samaki kando kando ya bahari. Lakini baada kutoka kwa training watu wote kina mama hata wanaume wa samaki wanachukua aidha kama ni hapo wanachukua maji mengi kule chini kwenye mto na wakitoka hapo wanaosha kwa maji ya mfereji samaki wao wanakuwa katika hali ya usalama The activities undertaken in this project include policy guidance to member states support to national PHE steering committees and support to community PHE activities through community based organization each year, the LVBC organizes meetings where reports on the activities undertaken by the Commission are reported. One such meeting is the Regional Policy Steering Committee meetings, which is attended by the principal and permanent secretaries from the EAC member states. Another meeting is the Sectoral Council of Ministers meeting, which is attended by relevant ministers from the member states. Umradi wa health of people and environment ukija hapa kwanza kulikuwa na muisani 
kulikuwa na vikundi vya wahisani walikuja pamoja na wakafanya pilot wakafanya pilot kwa miaka mitatu wakaona kazi imeenda vizuri wakaongeza mwaka moja na nusu alafu wakaja wakafanya kazi na kabla kufanya kazi kulikuwa na viongozi wengi kwa sababu mradi ulikuwa ni kuhusisha watu wa sekta mbalimbali kulikuwa na madiwani kwa sababu ya ku, ya kutengeneza sheria kule kwenye a uh, county assembly kulikuwa na chief kama mimi kwa sababu ya kuhusisha wananchi na kuhakikisha mambo uh, ya mradi huu yanaenda sawa sawa bila mtu ku, kuharibu kitu ama kuingilia the national phe network is a forum where both government and non-government institutions involved in the implementation of the phe activities meet to share the program's progress and challenges in kenya the implementation of the PH program is mainly supported by the following partner organizations. 1. United States Agency for International Development, USAID. 2. Danish Family Planning Association, DFBA. 3. Pathfinder International. 4. Population Reference Bureau. 5. Family Health Options of Kenya, FHOK. These organizations are instrumental in advocating for PHE and supporting community initiatives on the same. Between 2011 and 2019, the health of people and environment in the Lake Victoria Basin, HOPE LVB project was implemented by Pathfinder International. This was a PHE project aimed at supporting various communities in the Lake Victoria Basin region. Communities in Homer Bay County are among those that benefited from this project. Like in Homer Bay County, the main focus of the PHE approach is household-based approach, where the PHE activities are around the household, what we are calling the PHE model homes. And you find in the PHE model homes, we try to ensure that the home can be able to get water, they are able to grow uh, food within their farms there, they have a, a proper a toilet. They have also proper other sanitary activities within the home. So that is the model around the, the PHE approach in Homa Bay. In December 2020, NCPD procured 20 water tanks through support from UNFPA for the two mentioned PHE groups in Homa Bay County. So we've worked closely with the WWF Kenya also as a partner and we've been able to target the BMUs and and uh, improve uh, on their livelihood. Apart from the fishing, which is the key mandate of the beach management unit, we also encourage them to engage in other uh, livelihood practices. If more people can come on board and uh, use this approach in the implementation, we'll be able to reach many more people and it will even be more impactful to Cliffy County and to Kenya as a whole. Sahi Usafi naona ni umeboreshwa zaidi kulingana na mambo hata sasa hii uwezi sikia mtoto anaharisha uwezi sikia mtu mzima anaharisha uwezi pata kigezo chochote cha kuharisha kwa sababu kulingana na ile kuosha mikono mara kwa mara kitambo ulikuwa unapata hospitali zimejaa na mambo na cholera sasa hii uwezi pata hospitali imejaa kuhusu mambo na usafi kwa sababu usafi ni mzuri zaidi kuliko ile useme kwamba mimi siwezi kufanya usafi katika nyumba zangu by understanding your population you then you can plan for them you can allocate resources for that specific population. If you have a very youthful population, if you have an elderly population, if you are a child-based youth population, it matters. So in that regard, we just need to understand what kind of population do we have, what challenges do that population have, and then how can we respond to the challenges of our population. And that's why this institution was formed to look and understand and conduct research and advise the government on issues of population matter. The visit by the Principal Secretary for Planning, who is also the Chairman of the National PHE Policy Steering Committee, will be used to learn from the PHE communities in Homer Bay County and to officially hand over the water tanks to the beneficiaries as a way of motivating them to continue with implementation. <laughs> Oh, yeah.
kwane agenda oh yeah tunasonga mbele 